So my story starts in 2012. I live in Indianapolis. I had a house fire and I lost my house and three dogs in the fire. Devastating, hardest day of my life. Um, I thought my life couldn't get any worse than that. And shortly after that, I was in the woods cutting a limb down, 17 feet in the tree, and I slipped and fell. And I was by myself with no cell phone. And I had to make a decision to either lay there and die or crawl out for help. I made a decision to crawl out for help. I spent uh, two weeks in the hospital, collapsed lung, broken ribs, a lacerated liver, all kinds of bad stuff. Somebody was knocking on my door trying to tell me something. So I came up with the idea in that hospital bed to get a dog to help people. I wanted to teach a dog to help veterans and I wanted to help disabled kids. So that was in 2013 when I recovered from the accident. Mentally, I wasn't ready for a dog, so it took me a couple years, but I got the game plan rolling. I figured out what type of dog I wanted. I wanted a hound because your job as a therapy dog owner is to make people smile. You see this face coming, you're gonna start smiling. So I found a reputable breeder that had a dog that I wanted and I picked the puppy out of the lineup. My buddy went to pick him up, pick her up in South Carolina. He made a mistake and gave the dog away that I picked out. He had one female left and it was her. And he brought her home and I immediately started obedience training and all that type of stuff. And my neighbor girls volunteered for an organization called Indy Honor Flight. And they asked me to bring Dixie when she was ready to an honor flight to be a therapy dog. So when she was one in 2016, we started helping out the honor flight. I taught her to pray next to veterans for a photo op, and then I salute her and she'll bark out, thank you veterans. And her popularity just exploded after that. We started getting asked to do all these uh, veterans events and kids events, and we, we started doing funerals for veterans and kids that we knew that's passed away and just all kinds of different therapy dog stuff. And 2019, all this helping other people out kind of paid off. A uh, casting agency from Hollywood asked us to audition for a TV series for Amazon they were doing. Out of 400, 500, 600 dogs, they kept 12 of us. The show is called The Pack, it's like the amazing race. I got to fly all over the world with my dog and see all these amazing places and help people along the way, just continue doing what we were doing, you know? So uh, that just led to all this other stuff. I mean, because we started helping people from my tragedies led to me helping people. It's led me to this amazing life with this dog to continue to help people, but also I get, a, you know, she's been in movies, she's on that TV series, but all that adds to her popularity to help out these other organizations like dog rescues. You know, if Dixie's coming to a rescue event, her popularity is gonna bring all these people in and that's more money for that charity or for that rescue. So it's kind of all come full circle from some bad tragedies I've had in my life instead of laying around and crying about stuff and feeling sorry for yourself. I stepped up and have made something very positive out of it. And I get to share my dog with everybody and make them smile. So 